What's going on guys and welcome to day 9 of David's Tees 24 Days of Tea 2019 edition. Now day 9, we're hitting our first white tea of this bunch so far. And today we get to try out, or I get to try out, Pama Grateful by David's Tea. Now as I mentioned, this is a white tea. And for anyone who knows, pomegranates are very similar in taste to apples. But to me they taste more like a sweeter, stronger apple. Uh, and I kind of prefer them a little bit more. Now, when we look at the ingredients, we have apple, pineapple, hibiscus blossoms, white tea, pomegranate seeds and blossoms, rose petals, and stevia extract. Now, it's a little depressing to see that pomegranate seeds are like the fourth ingredient down, but we do get some apple. I am pineapple in here, so I do expect this to be a very sweet tea, and I'm hoping they can recreate that pomegranate flavor. So it says to brew this for three to five minutes at 195 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is low caffeine. Now, I haven't had a white tea in a while, so this is actually gonna be very awesome, I think. Just because pomegranate to me is a very refreshing taste. It's a very uh, awesomely defined taste, if that makes sense. Now, I know Traditionally, pomegranate seeds are very popular to eat, um, at least these days. I see palm being like a huge brand that everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people seem to buy. So, you know, personally, pomegranate juice is one of my favorite juices as well as pineapple juice. So the fact that those fruits are in here definitely makes me think I'm gonna really enjoy this tea. Now I've had this steeping, so it's time for our taste testing. So, it actually smells really, really good. It smells like pomegranate, but it also has a really nice apple scent to it. Uh, and it steeps in like a really cool, like red color, which is kind of what I was expecting. So let's take a couple sips of this. Let's see what we got. So, offhand, first off, that's really hot. I brewed that really hot today. Um, the flavor. You can taste the pomegranate, which is great. However, I feel like mixing the apple and the pineapple together is trying to create almost like a weird... Almost like a weird artificial uh, pomegranate taste. Now that's not to say that it's bad, but it definitely brings a different flavor to this tea that I wasn't fully expecting. It's a good tea. I like it. I like white teas because they're low caffeine. And to me, the white teas go very good with very fruity flavors because uh, for some reason, I feel like white tea is a very light tea. <clears throat> and I don't mean that in the color sense. I mean it in just how the tea comes off when you're drinking it. You know, I've had blueberry white tea before peach white tea, and they all taste really good. So, with that being said, especially with it being a rainy day, I think a nice white tea is great for day nine. It just seems like a lot of these teas are matching the weather outside, and I'm waiting for something to come that just doesn't really fit my mood for the day. But I think my mood always includes tea, let's be honest. Um, so that's day nine, guys. I'm a grateful by David's Tea, a white tea with apple, hibiscus, pineapple blossoms. The flavor, it tastes almost like a pomegranate floral arrangement, if that makes sense. The hibiscus and the, uh, what's the other thing here, rose petals? Yeah, they, they add a nice um, floralness to the tea, which brings out the other ingredients but also defines it on its own. Now I'm gonna wait for that to cool off to finish it. Those are my thoughts for day nine. Pama grateful, 24 days of tea. We have four, 15 days left. Look at me not being able to do math, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying day 10 tomorrow. I'm gonna to enjoy day nine when it cools off a little bit. So thank you for watching guys. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, leave your thoughts out in the comment section below. I'll catch you tomorrow night. We move on.